Hi folks, uh, welcome to another screencast um, of A2PE looking at exercise physiology. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the lactic acid energy system. As always, need a pen and paper and pause it as you wish. Uh, take down as much as you can and bring your notes to your lesson with uh, Rich or myself. So lactic acid is probably a word you've heard before. Uh, we kind of get it in our muscles when we're fatigued or we're cramped. Uh, you might kind of try and get lactic acid out of your muscles during a cool down. All right, so we're going to find out what this lactic acid energy system is all about. So just to refresh our memory, um, ATP is on the board, on the screen as you can see just now. Now we know that energy is released from our ATP when the final phosphate disappears. And all we know is that in order for energy to be released again, it must be resynthesized back to ATP. And all the energy systems we look at is looking to resynthesize ATP. So we're going to look at how la the lactic acid system uh, releases energy to resynthesize ATP. Okay, so the lactic acid system. Now the lactic acid system relies on your stores of glycogen within your muscle or your liver. Now this glycogen uh, is stored in the liver and your muscles through your um, supply of carbohydrates from your diet, so things like rice and pasta and potatoes. But this glycogen needs to be broken down by an enzyme called GPP. Imagine these enzymes are like Pac-Men, they eat away at things. This enzyme GPP breaks down this glycogen into glucose. However, a big problem with the lactic acid system is that there isn't sufficient oxygen. And this glucose is broken down further because of this lack of oxygen by an enzyme called PFK. And in doing this, we get energy and we get to ATP. And that energy is then used to resynthesize ATP. But that's not the end. Because of this uh, insufficient oxygen, glucose is broken down by PFK into something called pyruvic acid. And following on from this, this pyruvic acid is broken down by yet another enzyme called LDH. And this LDH breaks pyruvic acid down into lactic acid. So, your enzymes are like Pac-Man, they eat away at things, they break things down. What is really important to remember, that lactic acid system is in the presence of insufficient oxygen. And that's why a byproduct of the system is lactic acid. It's all like a waste product. Okay, some key points of the lactic acid system for you to remember. The lactic acid system provides energy for ATP resynthesis from 10 seconds up to 3 minutes, mainly of anaerobic activity so exercise without the need of oxygen. 
it uses glycogen as the main energy fuel to provide the energy to resynthesize ATP. It resynthesizes two ATP for every one mole of glucose. And your lactic acid energy system threshold will be met once you've created the two ATP. After this, we begin to use your aerobic energy system as the predominant energy system to resynthesize ATP. And that will be in the following screencast. Okay, folks, that's kind of about it. There is more to it, which I will go through the advantages and disadvantages in the lesson. Feel free to please read, uh, to read around the area. Um, looking at sports which might be suited to lactic acid and then we will kind of discuss in lessons. Alright, that's it for now and as always, up the baggies.